To make a reverse engineering job in a good condition, it's important to align the part in the right coordinate system. Here you can see a part which is roughly aligned or not aligned at all. So if I display my planes, I can see this part is not aligned. So the first thing is to make alignment. In this version of the software, uh, we don't have any kind of regions, so we'll need to create features. So let's create planes. And I'm going to create a plane down here. I'm going to hide my axis, my planes anyway. I will select and extract that region. Preview and OK. I will then create a rough symmetrical plane. So I will just draw a line here, roughly in the center. And OK. And then I will ask the software to build my mirror plane. So using that plane that just defined and that mesh model. Preview, software computes plane and you see that my plane was not good at all. And okay, now I got that and I just need the last thing which is going to be the axis of that cylinder. So I will create an axis, a vector. Uh, and I will again use that function and extract or select the cylinder here that will intersect and OK. All right. So now if I display all my features, so I will display my reference plane except the basic planes. And I will display also my reference axis, but that one. I can see all the reference. I cannot delete plane 2 because it's useless, but it's used to create to create plate three. Now I will go to interactive alignment and the moving entity will be the mesh. I can ask the software to bring together all the other entities. It's not really necessary here, but I can ask the software to bring it. It takes only plane three, plane one, because the other one I extracted from the model. And I can press next. Now my position, so my origin, it's going to be the intersection of that plane and the axis I built, so I can select the axis on the screen here. And the software takes the two entities, plane one and vector, it creates a point internally. And you can see that my origin is defined at this intersection. You can also see that all the translations here are grayed out, which means they are locked. Now I will tell the software the Z axis is going to be that plane. Okay, so you see that now my rotation, two of, of the three rotations are locked and my uh, translation are still locked, but I want to have the Z axis in the other direction, so I will flip it. Finally, I will tell the software my X direction is going to be my symmetrical plane and you can see the result there. Um, I prefer to have it on the other direction like that. And okay, so now if I go to top view, you can see the model. Those entities are not really in the right location because they didn't follow. It's not really necessary because I can delete all those features. They are just used to make alignment. And now if I display all my planes, my regular planes on the parts, you can see that this model is aligned.